All right, so what we have here is the HBZ book 14UG5, a workstation series book. We'll go ahead and get to taking this thing apart. What you're gonna need here is your plastic spudger, Phillips head screwdriver, and guitar pick, wee wee. Let's see here. These retain screws. Ooh, HP, you didn't have to. How thoughtful. Oh, I love it. So these screws do not come all the way out. I am glad about that. Very awesome. And you'll notice here too that there's these two holes and there is screws in them. However, you'll notice that that doesn't appear to be attached to the panel. I guess we're gonna have to see. You guys will notice probably in almost all these videos that I basically almost never use the plastic spudger. It's true. The pick, that's really where it's at when it comes to getting into these things. The plastic spudger is only there for things that are really giving you a tough time or maybe if you need to get some leverage on something to help you get the rest of the panel off. I think you've only really used it when you were doing the leads for the Wi-Fi, putting them on. Right, right. But really, like I said, the plastic spudger has its uses. I'm not really the biggest fan of the plastic spudger. They actually make like a, a metal spudger, which you shouldn't use on, of course, things like this. You're obviously gonna scratch your unit if you do something like that. Those are awesome too. Work in the corner. Don't break my pick. This would be really sad. Let's see, do we need to remove the screw? Boston. I don't know. You know, like I said, I didn't know. <laughs> But now that we're going at it, and it seems like it's giving me some problems. One of those retain screws. Interesting. So maybe you do. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. I guess we'll see when we finally get this panel off. Well, so you need to take those two screws off. Would you look at that? So these are those two screws actually right here. Those are the mounts for them. They're like blacked out, so I figured that that wasn't going to be necessary. It didn't look like it was connected to the panel. Turns out it is. So hey, it's that simple. Well, if something's giving you a problem, you obviously missed something. It shouldn't be that hard to say that, but that's not always true. Sometimes things are just annoying. Plastic clips are terrible. Pretty simple here. Wireless code, what is this? Is this a new one too? No, no, that's some legacy stuff. 8265, that was that last gen, so that's not new. Nice NVMe drive. I'll check that out real quick. Ooh, there we go. WLAN, so this would be if you want to get uh, connectivity over uh, wireless networks. Uh, 256 gig, okay, who makes this? Shiba, okay, yeah, they've been doing things for a while. NVMe. I do not know at the moment if that slot also supports SATA. I'll have to test that and get back to you. Okay, we'll take a look at this memory. Nice 2400 Samsung. All reliable gonna work forever probably. Uh, what else do we need to take a look at here? I would remove this wireless card, but dealing with leads is super annoying. You know what, I'll do it anyway. I'll do it anyway. Here we go. Again, very rarely does it matter which lead goes on which. Uh, they typically go to the same area. There's usually a main antenna and a secondary antenna. But again, it's really not the most important thing in the world. Again, put that in on that 30 to 45 degree angle, make sure it seats, press it down, put the screw back in place, and they've been nice enough to actually put numbers and label them, so one goes to one, imagine that, work with me. As you've seen in other videos, it's always the second one. Yep, yeah, it's always the second one, super annoying. But again, you'd think by now we have technology or like a way of connecting these a little yeah, better. You know, I wish that they had something that they would come up with that's better than that, but again, they don't really expect you to be messing with it like we're messing with it. This here is your monitor connection. I actually don't know what this connection is next to it though. I'm not sure what that runs to. I would imagine maybe this has like a real sense camera. Oh, now I'm telling is that a little slider? No, it is. Goodbye, FBI. Hello FBI. 
Well, maybe NSA. I mean, probably NSA, am I right? But anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's get this battery out. It looks like we got our little CMOS guy over here, and it actually has a little retention area, which is nice. It's not just like sticky down like we see in a lot of laptops. What? These dastardly, dastardly villains. All right, so it looks like we are going to need more than just your standard Phillips. We've got ourselves a star bit here. You're gonna need a TR9 to get these out. Because removing the battery is a big deal. So they likely did that to make it just a little harder to remove it? Um, to be honest with you, who knows what the reasoning behind it really is. It probably does have something to do with that. It's just like, it's not a common let much troll. You know, we could just use a normal Phillips head, but get this battery out of here and see what's going on. Yeah, that's the other reason to use the plastic splutcher. The battery leads. Yeah. Again, few and far between, fairly rare. It does have these little feet here that seat under these, so just be aware of that when we're putting it back in. See what we got going on here. Very, very professional. Aha. Yes. Mm. Anyway, uh, so it looks like we got our trackpad. The trackpad appears to be field replaceable as well as all your like clicks and whatnot appear to be field replaceable, so that's nice. What do we have on this trackpad? There's a lot of cables going on here. Do we have a, a fingerprint reader? Probably. Probably got some sort of biometrics on this thing. Yeah, all the way over here. Oh, a little nub. That's super annoying. I hate the nub. Everybody hates the nub. Maybe not. Unless you're like a hundred year old dinosaur who's used to like old IBMs, then maybe you like the nub. But you're also probably crazy. Um, no one likes the nub. That's all I'm saying. If you like the nub, I don't know. That's a hard opinion, I guess, on the nub. I don't know why it's been around for so long. Maybe someone can explain that to me in, in the comments. That would be amazing. If someone has like a legit reason for why the nub is superior or should be used ever for you any reason. You don't think you've got superior control and precision? I, I don't get it. They're like, we're gonna put this little like two millimeter joystick dead center of your keyboard. I don't, I don't really understand it. It's for like two player games. You know, maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're like, you know what, play with friends. It's just gonna be a super awkward friendship, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you've got a dock port over here. It's got Thunderbolt, your SIM port is up here. You've got some USB 3s on the side. As you would expect from a professional series, notebook. Everything is field replaceable. This bottom panel, this bottom panel's awesome. Thanks for like the retaining screws. I know there's probably a more proper word for that and I'm missing it, but again, help me out in the comments on that. I'll tell you that. That's it. On your professional grade notebook and your car club kid park sticker right here. I just, anyway. He knew. He knew I needed that Phillips head. Thanks, Magical Phillips Heads Changer. I don't know where. You guys gotta get you one of those. They don't sell them on Amazon, though. He's gonna give me junk about my going catty corner and tightening patterns and this and that. No one's complained yet. No one's complained yet. In due time. Somebody's gonna have something to say. No one watches this far into the video. <laughs> That's what it is. I got all the information I need. No one needs to see me put the panel back on. Fair enough. Anyway, yeah. That's your HP ZBook 14U G5. Pretty simple, easy tear down, not a whole lot of upgrades to be done in there.